Hello everyone, Adam here with Dan Falls. Today we're going to be discussing the SVL spare part kits and how they pertain to our SCAX stop check valve. When you open up the, uh, the inspection kit here, you're going to get uh, more parts than what's going to be used. Um, what would pertain here to this SCAX in particular would be our, uh, our nylon gasket, which goes underneath our seal cap, our aluminum crush gasket, which is uh, going to go underneath the packing gland, the bonnet body interface gasket, and uh, the O-ring here, which goes onto the bottom of the cage assembly to create the seal between this when it's closed and the body itself in the seating surface. With that said, uh, we also offer the repair kit. With the repair kit, you're going to get those same seals that you would use uh, in the inspection kit, but now we're also going to add in the packing gland, which would be used um, for resealing uh, the spindle. Uh, do keep in mind all of our spindle valves, the packing gland can be changed out uh, while the valve's under pressure simply by backseating the valve. And then finally, we would move into the overhaul kit. Now in the overhaul kit, again, we're gonna get more parts than what we need. Uh, you'll see we'll get the, uh, the cone for the most current version of our SCAX. And then you also get the replacement cone for our older SCA stop check valve. And uh, we'll have the 4.35 PSI strong spring um, for the SCAX and the SCA. And then we will get the, uh, the standard spring for the SCAX, which is the 0.58 PSI uh, differential opening, which is a low opening differential. And then the standard 0.58 PSI replacement spring for our old SCA. Now it's very easy here to, uh, to change this out if you wanted to change the cone on our current SCAX. You could do this simply by unscrewing the cage assembly from the bonnet. And then once this is unscrewed, getting the, um, getting the cone out is very easy. It just simply pulls out, the spring comes out behind it. That allows easy access to, uh, to actually check and see, hey, is my spring broken, is my spring damaged? Uh, you can quickly clean out any dirt or debris which may have made its way into the dampening chamber here of this, um, of this cone, uh, and it makes its way through uh, two orifices. So uh, once that's uh, cleaned out, inspected, spring replaced or what have you, it simply just slides right back into place with the spring behind it. You can kind of check that, make sure that it works. Once that's verified, you just screw the cage back on. When screwing the cage back on, we want to ensure that we get this screwed completely on tight with the metal of the cage interfacing with the metal of the bonnet. Uh, keep in mind, we also offer complete bonnets for replacement. If you don't want to do any re rebuilding of the valve or you're just not sure um, what your job may pertain, those are available in sizes half inch through five inch. For more information about this topic, please see our description below. And for more great videos like this, please visit our YouTube channel, Dan Foss Cool US. Thanks for watching.